Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to be doing a pet peeves video. These are some of my favorite videos to watch here on YouTube. I think they are so freaking funny to hear what really ticks people off. And I figured that I would share what kind of like ticks me off a little bit or what kind of gets me really going. So I figured I'd make my own little pet peeves video. So I have a pretty good list. It's not too long, but it's definitely not short by any means. So I'm basically going to be going off and reading each of my pet peeves and kind of explaining why why they bother me so much and if my lipstick or my makeup is smearing or sweating in any way it is literally about 86 degrees in this room because there is direct sunlight in the room and I am sweating balls. So let's try to get through this video without looking like a horrid mess. My hair is already super weird and frizzy from the humidity and I'm just like, I'm not about this life today, but we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. Okay, so the very first pet peeve is a pet peeve that I have had for years and years now, for as long as I can remember. And I honestly don't even know how it started, but it just really ticks me off. And that is the sound of keyboards. Now I'm not talking about like laptop keyboards or like MacBooks where they're like really soft and quiet. I'm talking like when I was in like elementary school and we took like a typing class on those like big keys like the click 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 click. That drives me nuts, especially when I'm like trying to concentrate on something or I'm trying to sleep and all I would hear is just my mom used to do that all the time, and I kid you not, I would freak out on her. Like, I cannot stand that sound. It just drives me absolutely insane. And I know that probably sounds really, really weird, but I, I don't know what it is. It's just the sound of freaking keyboards. I can't handle it. And it's just, it kind of goes along with another pet peeve that I have down the list that we will get to, but I think it kind of connects with that, but I don't know, is anyone else like that? Like, does anyone else cannot, like, I don't know, I just can't stand the sound of keyboards. If anyone else is like that, please let me know so I'm not the only one. <laughs> the next pet peeve that I have is lip smacking. <sighs> Why? Why? That is literally the one question I have. Why are you smacking your lips? There are certain YouTubers who do YouTube videos, obviously, and I literally can't watch their videos because they'll say a sentence and go, like before and after every sentence. It drives me insane. Yeah, there are literally YouTubers I refuse to watch because they smack their lips. Like I tried for years and years and years. I'm not gonna name names, but I just can't do it. I cannot handle the lip smacking. No. The next pet peeve that I have on my list is seeing young kids with cell phones. If you are under the age of 16 years old, why the fuck do you have a cell phone? Why do you have an iPhone? Why is that necessary to your life? I just don't understand. When I got my first cell phone, it was literally a prepaid phone with like $5 on it to make emergency phone calls. We didn't have like apps or Facebook or Pokemon Go or freaking we or a camera. Like we didn't have that stuff. It was, but like I swear to God, I will go like out to eat or I will go to the grocery store and there will be like four year old kids playing games on their parents' cell phones or on their own cell phones sometimes. Literally, parents are literally buying their young, young kids iPhones and cell phones. Why? Like, it's not necessary. It is totally inappropriate, in my opinion, to let a young kid be exposed to technology like that. They're young. They need to play. They need to go outside. They need to ride a bike. They need to go swing at the park. They do not need to be ruining their eyesight at the age of four paying, playing Fruit Slasher or whatever that game is. Like, it's not necessary. It drives me nuts. If you're a parent who does that, please reevaluate your life. Ridiculous. Like, just the way generations change. Like when I was a kid, it was going outside and playing, or if it was raining, we were inside playing with our Barbies or our Polly Pockets. Like it was not like, hey, let's get on Facebook and gossip, or let's play a game on my cell phone. This next pet peeve that I have hits quite personally to me, and that is when people are rude to fast food workers or drive through cashiers. I will never understand it. I work in a coffee shop and we do have a drive-thru and some days, yes, I will be working the drive-thru. Like, it's just, it's part of my job. Or, you know, obviously there's a McDonald's down the street and people are sometimes very, very rude to fast food workers. I don't get why. 
why are people so so quick to be rude and mean to people who don't work a $15 an hour job. Why are you so mean to them? I don't understand because think about it this way. Without them, where would you go to get your cheeseburger? Where would you go to get your coffee? Where would you go to get your french fry? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why fast food workers or drive through cashiers I don't understand why people are so mean to them, especially in the drive-thru. Sometimes if it's really windy or it's raining or someone's mowing the lawn, you can't hear when they're speaking. You really got to speak up. And when we say, I'm sorry, could you repeat that for me? They get so mad, so freaking mad. I will never understand. It's like, you know, you got to take into consideration. We have a little tiny speaker and a little tiny microphone. And when you are whispering from the back seat ordering your fucking coffee, we can't hear you. So you need to turn up the volume with your voice and work with us. Be like, and it's just amazing how like mean people get. And same with like McDonald's workers. Like if there's a huge rush, if there's like 80 cars in the drive-thru and 90 people inside and people don't get their food in two minutes, like people are like, um, what the fuck? Like, no, no, it's just, it's not acceptable. It drives me nuts. They're people too. They have bills to pay too. To. They deserve the respect that anybody else gets. Doctors, nurses, you know, anything along those lines. Fast food workers and people who work drive through deserve that same amount of respect because they are people just trying to get through everyday life. They don't deserve to be talked down to like trash. You know? really kind of take into consideration the next time you're getting frustrated at a fast food restaurant or you're getting frustrated with someone on the drive through and they can't hear you. Just try to remember that, you know, you just, they're a person too, they have feelings, use your manners, be nice, be patient, and if we really can't hear you on the drive-thru, just say, okay, I'll pull up to the window. It's really that easy. That way we can talk person to person, I can hear you, I can type it in, it'll be glorious, it'll be a great day, so just please remember that because dealing with mean people is just <laughs> best part of my day. <laughs> this one is, I'm sure many people can agree on with me, and that is people who don't use their blinkers when they're driving, such as when they're making a lane change, or when they're turning into a parking spot, or when they're turning into a store, or something of that sort, and they don't use their blinkers. Why? You know how easy it is to, to go right and to go left? It is so easy. Just use them. That is what they're there for. You are, like, I can't stand it. Like, you, when you're driving, you're not the only person on the road. And if you are, I mean, whatever. But, I mean, if you're on, like, a busy street or a highway and you're going to make a lane change, that blinker is to notify everybody around you what you're about to do. Because if you just do it out of nowhere without using your blinker, we don't know what the fuck you're doing. We don't have time to kind of, like, slow down or speed up or whatever you got to do. Just... so hard about using a goddamn blinker. It is the easiest button in the car to push. It's not even a button. It's a lever. Just do it. Just fucking use it. The next pet peeve that I have is people who have absolute zero manners. I am someone who is very big on thank you or you're welcome or have a good day. Every time I go out in public, if someone holds a door for me, I say thank you, I would expect a you're welcome. Or if I hold a door for someone and I don't get a thank you, I get really fucking salty, let me tell you. Like, it's just like, I don't care if you know me, don't know me, like I don't care if we're strangers, I don't care if you're from another dimension, say thank you. It's just common courtesy, like it's polite, like and ugh. I knew someone who had no manners, like, when, and this kind of goes in with the fast food thing. Every time we would go and get fast food, they'd be like, hi, your total is 529. Wouldn't even look at them, wouldn't even talk to them. And then when we get our food, they'd be like, here's your food, have a great day, and then roll up the window. And I would be like, thank you. Like, it's just, why don't you have manners? Why can't you be nice? Just say thank you or have a good day or like, you know, something along those lines or you're welcome. It's just like a hello maybe, that would be nice. The next pet peeve I have ties in with the very first one which is like the sound of keyboards, but this one is repetitive noises slash movements. So I think this kind of ties in with the whole keyboard thing because it's a the same noise over and over and over and over and over again. And same with movements. Like if I'm sitting next to someone and they're bouncing their leg up and down, like just restlessly just bouncing their leg up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. 
and I can like see it out of the corner of my eye, I literally have to go like this because I'm going to fucking snap. The very last pet peeve that I have for my first pet peeves video is modified people who are rude to other modified people. An example of this would be people who have tattoos who cut down other people who have tattoos. So say someone has a full sleeve and they come up to me and say, wow, your tattoo's really stupid. Mm. I, I don't understand, you know, I always thought that modified people who have tattoos and piercings, and a lot of them are, don't get me wrong, but some of them, they're not very open-minded, they're very cruel, they're very rude, like they see someone who doesn't have a similar style or a tattoo that was done by an artist that they've never been to, they automatically cut it down and they're mean to them, or they bully people for their tattoos, or they talk about the quality of their tattoos, you know, and when they have tattoos themselves. It's really, it's not cool, it's not nice, because you need to put yourself in their shoes. How would you feel if someone was coming up to you and being like, wow, your tattoos are really shitty, like, oh my god, you have to live with that forever ew like think about it how would you like it if someone was coming up to you and saying that your tattoos are shitty you really like I don't think a lot of people think before they gossip or bully people for things because it's really stupid like put yourself in that person's shoes how would you feel if someone was saying that stuff about you you know what I mean whether you like it or not if you don't like it don't say anything if you like it you know say something but don't don't be a tattooed person who's a fucking asshole to every other tattooed person because their tattoos aren't just like yours, you know what I mean? Just really gets to me, really pisses me off, so I thought I'd mention it. Okay everybody, so that was everything that I had for my very first pet peeves video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. What did you think about it? And also, go down in the comments and tell me what your number one pet peeve is. I would love to know. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!